The first thing I want to look at is the drag and drop interface, which is just so easy to use. You can grab hold of just about anything on the screen, photos, the different elements, text, and you can just rotate them as you like. You can resize them, just quickly change the text on the fly. It's all very, very easy to kind of grab and create brand new layouts with, with the optimum of simplicity. However, there are also contextual menus that allow you a lot more complexity if you want it. So when you select a particular item, for instance a photo, you've got a contextual menu you can go to and here I can crop the image and I've chosen a circular cropping tool. I can put that wherever I like, hit crop and there you go, I've completely changed the image. If I don't like what I've done, I just hit uncrop and it goes back to exactly how it was. I can also add things like reflection which should really add a nice design element by increasing or decreasing the reflection slide bar down there. That's a nice little feature. Uh, I've got cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, all the things you'd expect from a graphic editor. I can also lock items as well as move them back and forth. So for instance, adding different layers, different photos that are on top and behind. I can change the background color to a solid fill or to a gradient and there are a different range of gradients you can use there and different colors obviously to create the gradient of your choice. So all in all, there's lots of different features. What's cool about the text is that you don't only have the fonts that they've included, you can use any of the fonts from your computer and when you click on it, that'll just be loaded up and you can use your whole collection. So that's a very, very cool little addition. So there you go, that's the overview. Let's look at the details.